Welcome back to the Family DIY YouTube channel. Are you like me and you have some floor space in your garage and then in other areas you have absolutely nothing? Well today we're going to solve that problem by installing a brand new bike rack system onto the wall over here to get all that space freed up. So stick around. For today's project I went on Amazon, checked some reviews, and I found this Raxco wall mounted multiple bike rack. It holds up to six bikes and if you're interested, check in the description below where I have a link to Amazon where you can check it out yourself. So let's open it up and get started. Well, that was the quickest unboxing I've ever done. So you can see right here, you got the two different panels, you got your screws, and you have your six hooks here to hang your bikes on. So next step is we're gonna clear our space and I'm gonna show you how to hook it up. Now that we've gone ahead and moved all the stuff out of the way, the wall is clear. Now we can go and take out a measuring tape, figure out exactly where we want to put the bike rack. So we want to put them over here or over here, as long as we're not blocking the awesome Jurassic Park sign. Thumbs up for Jurassic Park. For this next step, I decided to pull out the, one of the wall brackets and one of the hooks to help figure out the correct position I want to put it on the wall. So what you're going to do is first attach the hook right under the bracket. It's like so. It's a really quick, easy snap. And then hold it up against your wall, find a position that you really like. To find the correct height, I would recommend you take one of your longest bikes you have and place it right on the hook. You're going to have to hold it, but then you can kind of uh, get a good guess of where you want it. So I feel like right about there is a good height. And put your bike back down and then just take the pencil and mark roughly where the proper height is. Now that you have the height, what you need to do is find in your wall where the studs are and line them up with the screw holes and then screw them right on into the studs for good support. So now that we know where we want to put the bracket onto the wall, to secure it safely to the wall, we need to find the studs behind the drywall. To do so, I'm going to be using my magnetic stud finder, this guy right here. It is a C.H. Hansen magnetic stud finder. This thing is great. It has two very powerful magnets in it and also has a little bubble level so you can make sure when you're doing your lines, everything is nice and level. So let's go over to the wall, try this thing out, and find the studs. Perfect. So right here, because now it's stuck in the wall, you know, fairly confident that you just landed on a stud. And I love this magnet. It doesn't fall off. So I'm just going to make a little mark here. And then just to be sure, I'm going to check a few more spots along here just to make sure we're actually finding a stud and not just some random metal bracket in the wall. Okay, perfect. So I found three different spots right along here. So I'm very confident there's a stud right here. And there's always going to be one on either side. So let's check over here. Perfect. Found another stud right there. Perfect. Now we're confirming we got two studs right here. And because we need to make sure we have lots of space available, we're going to check over here as well. Okay, looks like I just found a spot right here. So I got another spot right here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab my level, get the bracket up there, line up the screw holes with the studs, screw it right into the stud. So if you remember, we went ahead and put the bracket up here, found about the height that we wanted. So now I'm going to use my level. figure out the exact level height of where I want to have that bracket. So I'm going to draw a little faint line right across here. We're just going to keep going this way. And just for good measure, let's go over here. Because remember, you can always just erase it when you're done. So now you have a really nice level line right here where we can take the bracket, put it right up against here. We're also going to go ahead and line it up with these stud marks. 
And that's exactly where you're going to put the screws. Sorry, just had to do that. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab the bracket. Make sure it's facing the right way up. We're going to take this uh, bracket and line it up with exactly where we want to place it. Perfect. So now that we have a stud, we'll go ahead and screw it right up. Fantastic. That is not going anywhere. So now that we have the first bracket on the wall, right into the studs, it's not going to go anywhere. Let's go ahead and put one of the hooks on. Perfect. Just do a little tug test to make sure we're looking strong. All right. I think we're safe. So let's give it a shot with one of the bikes. Voila, works out pretty good. Got a nice height. Looks like we still got some good, plenty of room up, up top here for the cabinets. Just a little bit off the ground down here. I think we nailed it. So this is absolutely perfect. So let's go ahead and add a few more of the hooks on here and we'll add a few more bikes and see how it looks. So for each one of these wall brackets, it's designed to have three of these hooks attached. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I've been a little skeptical using full-size adult bikes on this, so we're gonna find out if it actually fits or not. So let's put one right here in the center. All right, let's go get some bikes and see what happens. I'd say it worked out really well. I mean, all you have to do is basically make sure you're doing seat, handlebars, seat to make sure everything lines up. But I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. This is saving me so much space on the ground. All right, you can see right here exactly how it's mounted onto the wall with the different tires. Seems to be working out really good. So that is definitely saving me a lot of space. So now that we've got the three bikes up on the wall, all you gotta do is just repeat the same process to get your next three bikes on the wall. You can see how incredibly simple it was to attach the wall and how effective it is to store your bikes. So if you found this video to be useful, please don't forget to give us a good thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and if you wanna do this in your own garage, check in the description below and you'll find a link to Amazon where you can pick up this product. Thank you very much.